What's happening, people, and welcome to our podcast where we step outside the box and talk about atypical topics from growing minds. I'm Benjamin. And I'm Rainy. And we are your host. Welcome to our show. Why don't you get your coffee first? Microphone check. Microphone check. <laughs> so, what'd you put in your coffee this morning? Sugar and creamer. Why? French vanilla. You know, coffee's been around for so long. Mm-hmm. So I was like reading this history book a couple months ago. I really need to read again, but she was in like the 1600s or 1700s, and coffee was a commodity. You know, it was it was rare, but you when you got it, you know, it was mostly what you drink. You mostly drink coffee, right? Period. Yeah. I guess so. It like wasn't rare. It was like, the only thing that you could have. Like when the tea came out. <laughs> That's what I mean. So. That's right around that exact era. Tea was the commodity. Tea was rare. When you got tea, you were very excited for it. Isn't that weird, though? Water, never. No one ever had water. I don't care. So, you know, and that's really interesting because besides modern medicine, uh, everyone died, you know? So, in this book, she lost, like, six children to simple diseases. Yeah, like a flu or something. Yeah, Yeah. and then uh, and the old people, they're the same. And right. that was back when water was really inaccessible. How interesting, right? So yeah, people I watched, I watched Rango, so... Oh, then I'm, you get I'm it. Really, yeah, I know a lot about this. You know, they yeah. drink prickly pear juice because obviously you need to drink something. Right. But <laughs> besides, <laughs> like... Especially when alcoholism was really popular back in those days. Imagine I don't think we much... ever checked the mic. Yeah, we did. Okay. It's definitely moving. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, I... Cause, yeah, exactly. Because I... <clears throat> So, obviously, modern medicine is a thing. You know, doctors. But water, the access to water, I feel like really changed the way our bodies were able to fight off diseases. Yeah, aren't we like 60% water or some shit like that? It's like 70-something. I was told like 99 in school. That's crazy. (laughs) It's like something crazy. I just feel like a blob of water. Like our wipies? Yeah, like I'm a blob of water. Yeah, so we are made of mostly water, and so (laughs) back in the day... If you didn't have water, you didn't fight that infection. Your body couldn't, you know? It's missing something. So, wherever clean water, like accessible clean water came from, you know, that is, I feel like that's probably the turn of events. I'm going to study that. So Didn't didn't God make that shit on like the first seven days or something? Something like that. (laughs) Uh, Snapped his fingers and went, Wada! (laughs) Wada! Um... You and know. now you have the seven C's. <laughs> so, in another book I was reading, it she, the girl lived in Arizona her entire life. Okay? They had a well. They had drinking water. Wow. But it was always like, don't use too much water, you know? Like. You run the well dry? Yeah. You and just gotta the, pump it. Prime yeah, it. but then a drought happens and your wells malfunction and shit. So. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, anyway, deeper. <laughs> er, yeah, people down here in Arizona have never really had solid access to water, and hmm. that's really interesting, because it's like... You think we're all sick down here? No, because what if it's the opposite? What if, like, our bodies have just adapted to kind of live without it because we there's so many Absolutely. other foods now you know Evolution this isn't the 1700s is definitely real yeah we've definitely evolved to uh be able to handle soda pop every for day. okay you here's a I mean? good example like here's a good example it gets up to what 120 in phoenix in the summer right yikes yeah yeah uh water is really important but for those people that don't stay hydrated they get headaches but like really i mean Back in the day, people would have died they from that died, heat. Yeah. And, yeah, we are able to stay hydrated through food and stuff. So, obviously, that's saying that water affects how well your body works. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... I start well, to cramp up if I don't have enough water. Yeah, so what if you replace water? Not replace it, but, like, coffee, you know? How much coffee is beneficial? I know coffee is beneficial. I know that, like, that's a thing. Yeah, but maybe black coffee this is sugar creamer <laughs> yeah that's true you know like so i could it, do some black coffee but ew it's just like eating like candied carrots you know or something yeah like. candy corn yeah no that's <laughs> just straight up kid but yeah so it kind of like um 
it <laughs> if it's black coffee it's definitely like not hurting you what about other things so tea herbal teas that aren't sweetened or you can put a little bit of pure cane sugar in it. I would think that that's but extremely healthy. Beneficial yeah. because mm -hmm. you're drinking herbs. Maybe not the sugar part, but yeah. Okay, and then and then you replace it with something that the government has formulated. Like soda. Yeah. And you have a Dr. Pepper addiction. Gatorades, yeah. Yeah, all that shit. Yeah is like I don't touch any of that it's garbage. Yeah, it's like hurting you. So I'm not hating, but I'm just saying y'all need to quit that shit. So it's, then we get garbage. like this sparkling ice for Connor. Yeah. It's like the worst thing he drinks. Solid, straight up. Worst thing he drinks. I like it too. So worst thing I drink. It's got <laughs> like a chemical or two. But it's such a healthier alternative. You know, it is. And I like, don't care what people say. Like, I feel like... I don't care what you think. Lots of other parents give their children really unhealthy things, you know? Um, yeah, like, like fucking hot Cheetos. Yeah, you know? like exactly. that shit is garbage. <laughs> so, okay, right? So Landon loves hot Cheetos. Yes. But you get him jerky, it satisfies the same thing. He mm -hmm. just likes the way spicy feels he and tastes. He loves spicy jerky. That's his yep. thing. So why hot Cheetos, you know? Because they're spicy. Yeah, yeah they're and spicy. it's just... We make them spaghetti, and we have to put red pepper on it. Yeah. Ground red pepper. Because he, he he's always going to have a really healthy colon, that's for just sure. Just like me. <laughs> yeah, you know? exactly. We shit real good. So, <laughs> so I'm just, like, totally thinking... It goes back to... I'm stoned. It goes back to that thing where what you smoke. what you intake <laughs> is what affects you. So let's look at our eating, right? So, uh -huh. um, let's say what's the worst thing we eat? The worst thing that we eat would be pepperoni on our pizza. And, and like dairy products, right? Dairy we products, eat a lot sure, of dairy. Yeah, there's a lot of yogurt in our house. Yeah, yeah there's. Mm -hmm. We eat a lot of dairy. We eat a lot of cheese. But, like, what about like processed foods? We don't eat any of that shit. You don't think so? Uh, or ramen. Ramen's ramen, probably like ramen's the worst the, yeah, thing. Yeah, that's, that's the one. And you know what that is? That's a. Having three kids sometimes. <laughs> you just don't have. And it just, like, tastes you, good. You know how they never <laughs> want the same food? Yeah. So you got to make the meal, and then you got to make the side meal for the kid that won't eat. Ramen is still so cheap because so many people <coughs> fucking buy it. You know, like, it is the easiest meal, but it's so full of sodium. So it's not the noodle, you, though, isn't it? It's yeah, the packet. No, it's it, the packet. no, it's the noodle. Really? I. That's what I think. No, oh, the unhealthy part? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. It's the packet. That's the packet. So flavor your own noodles. But I think no. that people love it because of the noodle. Like the textures yeah, of the noodle. I, I do because yeah, of the texture. It's like yeah. perfect texture, right? Mm -hmm. It's like that's how you would want your ramen to feel. it out, yeah. So you can flavor it with anything. Literally, like if you're a meat eater, you can get boyan and flavor hey, it. What did Kylie flavor hers with? Soy sauce. Soy sauce. But that was the packet too, so the oh, sodium really? level is still high. I thought I thought it was special season. No, no, she just uh, no. There was uh, a million vegetables in it, and and a oh. boiled egg, and it looked. So I think oh. I took a picture of it. Ah. Uh, Turn ramen into a fancy meal. Yeah, yeah something Very that doesn't cool. make you feel like you're eating nothing. So, so yeah, you oh, are and what we you eat, eat. Meat. You are what you eat. Yes, we eat a I lot think of meat. I eat a lot of meat. I think meat is a. Uh, very unhealthy. The way we eat it, I... It's an everyday thing. If I had the money, I would... How, we should figure out how many pounds of hamburger meat we eat in... Uh, we eat about a pound a day. In a one-month period. Uh, about three-quarters of a pound a day. Yeah, so in a month, about 30 pounds. 30 pounds. Jeez. Well, you divide that by two people, though, so about 15 pounds of meat you're consuming a month. That sounds like a lot. I don't like that. <laughs> it's like a small baby. <laughs> you know? If you look at it that way, it's like a human baby. That's gross. Yeah, I know. <laughs> because people think that eating humans are gross, but eating an animal <coughs> is essentially hey, the I same said it, thing. Hey, I said it in my life. That turkey I ate, 
way too close to human flesh. Yeah. <laughs> it felt like I was eating a human. It was weird. Exactly. Was now just Ben's too... just not going to taste turkey again. No, I'll never eat turkey again. It's my favorite meat. It sucks, but that's okay. Meat starts to taste like meat, and I feel like... Once you start clearing your chakras and everything, yeah. and I made you start turkey. to reckon. It I, was good! I baked it. Like, I could de- totally good, tell how he eating. saw it, like human meat, but it was good, and I like. <laughs> but at no, the, I got to the eater, point though. where I was like, nay. But I'm a texture eater. That just goes into the autistic side of me. Yeah, because I'm a tasty. I eat things because they taste good. No, I couldn't care less what it tastes like. It's got to feel good. <laughs> yeah, see, that's weird. It's like the equivalent of. You don't care what the music, the lyrics and music says. Yeah. You care about the way it sounds. As long as it has a good flow. You don't anymore, not I feel like. No. But, yeah. Now I really recognize a good lyric. So maybe you're not eating your food mindfully enough. Hmm. To really take in the flavors. Like, you might, like, work your way past the texture things. I don't want to, like, start gaining weight. <laughs> <laughs> food tastes really good. Yeah, see, I've always been kind of... I don't eat until no, I No, but I to, mean so. mindfully eat the stuff that you like. And you're really good at trying things. Remember how I took all the tomatoes and you were going to try it on your tostada? Yeah, I tried your fish too. Yeah, exactly. I hadn't done that in 30 years. I think years. when you want <laughs> to try something, you mindfully eat it. You look past the texture and you focus on what it actually tastes mm-hmm. like. Mm-hmm. And I want to try shrimp next. Shrimp is All fun. I ever hear is it's so good. Shrimp? Ooh. No, shrimp. It's the texture that's really. I mean, I love the way it tastes. The texture's good. The texture's great because it's a little crunchy, chewy. <laughs> like what? Not like fat, chewy, right? No, like. Because that's why I hate meat the most is the fat, chewy shit. No, it's different. <coughs> it's uh, God. I'm like picturing it in my mouth and trying to equate it. <laughs> to something just as good. And all I can think of, like, if you painted a ball of Play-Doh, okay, mm-hmm. and then you bit into it, right? You'd first have to get past the crackle into the soft Play-Doh. Okay. And then you go all the way through. And like that's a peanut M&M. I guess food is better to equate it to. Yeah, I've never been. Kind of, but it's that's, been a while since I bit into see, Play-Doh. But that's still, that's still hard. A peanut and M and M. You still have to really crunch your way through. Shrimp isn't like that. It just has a natural crunch as you chew it. I don't like know. biting an onion. A little softer, but yeah, that's a lot close. It's like I've been an onion. It's like eating undercooked beans. Ew. But with the taste of a shrimp. Is that a good taste? Yeah. Okay. Especially with the shrimp sauce on it. Like, you There's can't have shrimp sauce? without sauce. I, I forgot what it's called. Look it up real quick. I'm not a seafood Just guy. type in shrimp sauce. Oh, wait, I have a phone. Yeah, no? I'm not going to. Hey, she Siri. Wants me to mess with my computer while it's What is shrimp sauce <laughs> called? You can literally ask Siri and she'll tell you. Okay. I found this on the web for shrimp sauce called You Can Literally Ask wow. Sirius. Thank you, Sherry. You can literally ask Sirius. That's what she said. She was listening to you. <laughs> she was listening. That's creepy as hell. <laughs> um, shrimp is good. Okay, anyway. Storm the Capitol. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> um, so, we, we eat... What do we eat? What are our mains? We eat noodles, cheese, meat, and... She eats noodles. I can't stand them. But she puts them in every freaking meal. We ate them last night. You loved it. Yeah, I'm sure I did. You know, he always says he can't stand noodles, but every time we make noodles, it's, this is really good. (laughs) It's just trying to be a nice husband. No, it's not. (laughs) You ate, like, that whole piece of lasagna. (laughs) Like, (laughs) you love noodles. No, I don't. I I think that you do. No, I don't. It's the texture of them. I hate the texture of noodles. Mm. They're slimy. I don't like slimy. I don't. I don't think so. Hmm. <laughs> he even eats ramen, and that's like only noodles. And I hate ramen. Yeah, he doesn't have it that much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I eat it because I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, we should. I don't know how it got to this, but we should like, not like chart out. But pay attention to the things we eat most and try and change them from there, okay? So forget about the meat. We eat meat. We're going to stick with that as Same like, with potatoes. We eat those all day, every day. Potatoes. Okay. So you take, say you take noodles, right? And you switch them out with something. Or you just add something to your diet 
That is the equivalent of how much you eat. Okay, so we eat vegetables pretty well. We do eat vegetables, yeah. I we prefer my vegetables raw, you prefer them cooked. We definitely don't eat, like, enough vegetables, but we definitely eat vegetables. I smoke weed. That counts. <laughs> oh my god, that does not count. <laughs> it's totally a vegetable. It has to be. It grows out of the ground. It has seeds. Maybe it's a fruit. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it when you said it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it's a fruit, babe. Don't be stupid. It's a fruit. That's so funny. Uh, <coughs> so... <coughs> Maybe weed was the was the fruit that Satan told Eve not to eat. <laughs> you think she they went and took a bite out of a nugget? They don't say it's an apple. They say it's forbidden fruit. That's true. They do not tell you Probably it's an apple. Probably a bud plant. Uh. <laughs> yeah. What, or, or mushrooms. Well, it's got to be something that enlightens. It's got to be right? mushrooms. Right? right? Wasn't it like the plant of enlightenment or something? Yeah. Shit? You bite it and you know all things. Like, who did it the best? Uh, uh, Jack Black in year one. What? Remember Jack Black I've in year one? I've never seen that movie. What? Yeah. He bites the forbidden fruit and he's like, wow, ask me a question, any question, go. And he like, ask him a math question. He's like, next question. <laughs> who is it? Jack Black. Oh, I don't like Jack Black. From year one. Oh, my God. Okay. People in the audience are, it's hilarious. It's, it's like a... The origins of the Bible kind of thing, but in oh, a okay. funny, in a funny. Oh, meaning. really? Yeah, it's a so, funny. So yeah, that's what I think. I think that either mushroom, some kind of psychedelic, was the forbidden. Exactly. Fruit. Yeah, the shroom bush. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking coca leaves. Right. <laughs> Something crazy. Anything, and I think that's what happened. And uh, well, what? Not what, like what really happened, but you but know, there was I a think snake. What are snakes like? Snakes. I don't know. It was a serpent. Isn't that a snake? Yeah, but it's it sounds cooler when you say serpent. That's anyway, stupid. Um, I'll give it that. No. So the yeah. Lord Almighty. No, he, it's God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stop. Stop. Isn't it just? I don't know. Religion's so weird. How do people really believe this shit? I don't know, but we can't even get into that because we are talking about Whole Foods. You're and right. You're habits. right. You're right. And that um, is a rabbit hole, let me tell you. <coughs> oh, I know a ba another <coughs> bad thing we eat. Ooh, what's one bad thing we eat? Like ice cream. Like like frozen desserts. So rare. You really think so? Between you and Con, probably way more, but I rarely you don't think had we one. Eat ice cream I had a lot. one because we bought a box of twelve. No, I know, but I'm <laughs> saying between me and Con, you think I mean, Con definitely eats a lot of ice cream. Yeah. But it's not awful, you know? It's, uh, I don't know. He, he only has, like, two a week kind of thing. It's not crazy. Yeah, two or three. But yeah. ice cream isn't entirely bad for you. And that's why I let him have it as much as he does, because it's not... It's really not something that's detrimental to you. Like, no, I'm okay, thanks. It's not like if we were letting him get sour candy every day. Yeah, no, and you know what? That's something we've probably Dutch bases on, but we do not do dyes. I mean, that's such... No, that's not... We do not do for this. somebody who's literal, that's okay. pretty far-fetched. Literally? We do our best. When it comes to snacking, and yes, we do our best. So when we're at the grocery store, we look at the ingredients. I right. just bought hot sauce that has dyes in it, and I didn't look at the ingredients. And that's our fault. You know why, though? Because we got, we got clickbaited. Called, it was called avocado, and it was green. It was an, It's green avocado it hot sauce. Duh, we're trying that. We didn't was, even think about it. We threw it in a cart. <laughs> it was avocado colored. It was literally Is it like... Good, though? I had. I would have had no reason to look at the dyes. I don't know if it's good. It's really <laughs> spicy for me to be able to mindfully taste it. Okay. But I'm going to keep trying. A green spicy sauce. See, that? there's something wrong. <laughs> I just, I should just start making my own hot sauce. Oh, uh, man, I would too. Because there's can, like nothing hot We have <laughs> so much vinegar. Is that all you need? I mean, it's that's the base of a lot of and hot sauces. And like some chili? Yeah, exactly. So it's like salsa with vinegar, I think. But, um. Interesting. I eat a shitload of vinegar. Yeah. Yeah, you do. I literally, like. <laughs> Like you a should, quarter of a Tabasco bottle every time I eat. You should Google, like, what happens if you ingest too much <laughs> ingest vinegar. Too much vinegar. <laughs> it's probably really good for you. That's what the diarrhea is about. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> the last 30 years. <laughs> oh, my God. I like, I like to eat chocolate, too. 
Yeah, see, I'm just not huge on sweets. I've always had a sweet tooth. Mm -hmm. Like, baked goods are my everything. I enjoy baking them, but I don't enjoy eating them. I love baked goods. Oh my god. I mean, honestly, that is a, one of my biggest downfalls when it comes to eating processed food, is I will eat three of the donuts that we get. Three out of twelve. And I do not eat donuts. I'll eat four out of twelve. And then, yeah, and Ben just, like, doesn't eat them. And then I will be like, let's buy these cookies or, like, <laughs> something, like, pre-made. Um, you do do that. You do be doing that. I basically work near a bakery. There's two. And... Hey, but that is fresh. The one I work next to, they hand make everything. Yeah. Even the ice cream. Yeah, that shit's fresh. Yeah. Eating there is really good for you. Just because everything's so Whole foods -y, Prepared you know? by a stoner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. Both of them. He puts his them, mind into it, man. Both of them. Yeah. His, him, uh, him and Heather, they're both... Oh, okay. I was trying to think cooks. of the other one. Yeah, the, yeah. I went to high school with these people. It's yeah, weird. it's so funny. Now but, they yeah. own a store in town. Isn't that cool? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and um, it's like... Yeah, Ben, you really fell off. You got a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> that is stupid. That's I awesome. live my life way different. That's all. That's I have a cool, different though. plan for my future. No, <laughs> it's not yet. being a fucking business owner or anything like that. So. <laughs> like... <laughs> We don't eat that bad, you know, but then, then I see certain things where I'm like, mm. yeah. I believe that everything has a balance. Yeah. I do. And there's some people that are like obsessed with only eating cleanly. And I was for a while, but, um, you have to have the balance I because still, yeah. then you create relation problems and relationship problems with food. And then your immunity to the foods are weaker. Yeah. Think about it. If you never eat dyes your whole life, your parents never allowed it, and then you're an adult, and then you fucking accidentally eat something, what's going to happen to you? <laughs> I don't know. Are you going to get sick? <laughs> no, it'll probably be more of like a... Diarrhea. Like a high. <laughs> like it fucks with your brain. Yeah. It is an addiction. That's why kids love it so much. Yeah. yeah but there are people like that. So there are people that raise their kids to only eat clean. Yeah. And that, in turn, once the kid is able to eat whatever they want, they will. So, in the beginning of our relationship, I ate whatever I wanted. Like, we got toaster strudels, which McDonald's, I want to know how to make like all, the time. Yeah, all the time. We always got fast food. Yeah. We ate trash. We ate, like, our fair share in pizza rolls. And, and it's pretty scary, because I was probably in a healthier shape back then. Well, that's because you were working all the time. Oh, yeah, I had constant work ethic. That's yeah. right. Yeah, you were labor. always moving. Um, like, I have a job. <coughs> I'm always moving. <coughs> like, I'm always, like, active. I'd consider that active. I consider myself dick! <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> yeah, I I think that we used to eat... We used to eat so bad. No, we're I was doing like, really good right now. I was, like, filling myself on nothing but frozen microwave meals. That's nasty, too. I talked you out of microwaving. I know. I always told her, I said, that, no, you got to throw it in the oven. Just throw it in the oven. I'm telling you, it's better. Yeah, and you can't do that with microwave yeah. foods. Yeah, you can. No, Hot you Pockets can. and, like, pizza That's rolls. That's not what I'm talking about. Talking I'm about? talking about bowls of Chinese food and shit. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't eat those. That's gross. Yeah, he's right, though. He talked to me. Yet. No, I will... Oh. If I could, like, have a mixture between... Okay, maybe, like, the oh, the right oven. So... Oh, we got a great oven. Hot Pockets were my shit, and now I just can't. I bet if I ate one, the cheese would be all sticky and gooey. The pepperoni and inside's all See, thick I eat and ham soft. and cheese. Ew. Yeah, so it's just weird. <coughs> it's not good. <coughs> Ooh. Yeah, so we used to eat awful box pizzas all the time. Mm -hmm. Nope, not anymore, ever really. I mean, there's a one or two, but no, we make that shit and it takes an hour and a half, no matter how you do it. Yeah, it takes pizza an hour and is a, half. a commodity for and us. And I'm efficient. That's an hour and a half. Efficient. If we want pizza, we really put our, our, Ben always puts his intentions into making pizza. It takes forever takes forever. But well, I like it to be perfect, though. If I'm going to make a homemade pizza, it's going to be the best. Do you mindfully make it? Every time, yeah. Yeah, that's what it seems like, yeah. you know. 
Um, I cut I cut everything super thin, you know what I mean? Yeah. Put some of the peps under the cheese, some on top. Sprinkle it with a little extra cheese. I even throw, uh, what is it, oregano or parsley on the top. Yeah. A little garlic and butter on the crust. Yeah, I go all out. Sometimes I even stuff the crust. Yep. Oh, look at outside. It's like raining leaves. It's raining tacos. It's over now. Aw. I know, it was like perfect. <laughs> I got up and it's just gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, eating right. You gotta have a balance because otherwise you'll turn into a nut. Like, live your human life. Let your human body react to the way it's gonna react. You're not here for perfection, like... No. It's a canvas, it's a piece of art. Don't fucking sculpt it and make it like everybody in Hollywood. You know what I mean? Yeah, or just, like, think you have to be all natural one with the earth. Yeah, that's not it either, dude. It's a human experience. You were born in this generation. Yeah. Us you humans get to enjoy junk food. So, definitely give yourself... Enjoy the experience. You're not going to win a trophy for saying, you know, eh, well, back when that was popular, I didn't touch it. Yeah, You know what I mean? It's exactly. like, oh, good for you, you fucking retard. I'm, I'm the kind of person, no, for real, though, I'm the kind of person that does things just to say that I've done them. Yeah, no, it's... Not to, like, fully experience It's like, I no mean, way to live, yeah. <laughs> like, good for you. <clears throat> but that's the thing that usually pushes me over the edge, is if I'm standing, let's say, when I go skydiving, Eek. I'm fully confident I'll be able to do it, because I know I'm going to be standing there thinking, just fucking do it. Yeah. You know, just, just like... Jump. get it over with. Yeah, no, Let's not get it over with. <laughs> you need to be able to say that you did it. You know, skydived? Yeah. Ooh, that's huge, too. I mean, it don't matter what crowd you're with. I've skydived. It's like, holy crap, dude. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm definitely, like, a Leo Mercury and an Aries rising. And that Cancer helps, too. And the Libra. I just, I'm... I like attention. I like doing things where people are like, whoa. You know, like, I... Yeah, it's yeah, the Leo yeah. in me. I want to definitely have a spotlight right, sometimes. Right, right. Yeah. So if I go skydiving, I'm going to tell people about it. And I'm what I don't <laughs> want to tell people <coughs> is what I tell people for when we went to the MGK concert. Is It would have been <coughs> awesome if I didn't feel like trash, like completely, you know? <coughs> yeah. Well, that's true. I hate that that's my story. And I want to be able to say I went skydiving and it was the fucking coolest shit I've ever done. Yeah, not, oh, I was scared to death, but I did it. Right? No, yeah, yeah, exactly. No, you That's go, not the feeling cool. of flying, of falling. You want people to be able to put themselves in your feet and go, God, that would feel amazing. To, for me to put myself realistically, right, realistically in skydiving, is I picture myself as Buzz Lightyear, falling with style. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, with you the wings and all, I want to guide it. You don't <laughs> skydive by yourself. Not. Oh, well, then picture where he's carrying Woody. I'm Woody. There you go. Yeah. There you so go. So, you're... <laughs> somebody it's, it's, is... I'm going to land right in the sunroof, in the box, right where I was supposed to be. But I'm the kind of person, and you are too, that if I'm strapped to a stranger, it's no big deal, you know? What do you mean? Like, it's nice to meet you. Let's fucking do this thing. Oh, yeah, no, it's professional obviously right yeah but about? i yeah like exactly no like, no i feel like like it would be yeah super chill you yeah, know you like make friends with them instead oh, of oh for like, sure oh no we're connecting awkward. yeah the guy exactly. on my back we're gonna connect hard like, yeah you're, you're you got me right <laughs> and they do this like and i'm sure they hear it all right like the you're time. not having a bad day your girlfriend didn't cheat on you right like, <laughs> you're not gonna unhook my seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> no like that's all i'm afraid of humans be doing some human things. You know? I <laughs> cannot wait to skydive, and I cannot see myself waiting again. I'll catch you at the bottom. Like, I've already <laughs> decided, and I tell people this all the time, I'm going for my 25th birthday, and I'm taking my child, the 11-year-old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah! You think he'll go? I think so. I think that he'll get up there, and he'll be terrified. I don't think he'll jump. You don't think so? I hate to say it, son, but... If you're anything like me, you ain't jumping. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I no, I just, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, once I'm in the airplane, but look, look here though. I've never been on an airplane. That's step number one. I no, have to get past not. that. No. Yes, it is. That's no. not just, oh, it's normal business class. We do it every week. No, no. you got to do it all at once because going on an airplane the first time is always 
You know like, what I'm saying, though? It's double the battle, though. It's not just jumping oh, out of yeah. it. I also have to get in it, and I've never done that. <laughs> so it's like double frightening. I think you would do it. I gotta trust. I think I would too. I gotta trust that this pilot's gonna get me up in the sky, and I gotta trust this guy's gonna push me out and save me before I die. And you gotta trust, like, at least one of us will live. Better <laughs> 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 get the wheel started. Huh? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I landed! <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> no, fuck that. Yeah! Oh, fucking trauma, yeah? It's... I'm not ending on that note, but we have to end this podcast. Why? What's it at? <laughs> 30 minutes. No, this is fun. Um, Because I want to bounce off that. I know it feels bounce like... Bounce off the ground. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I know it feels like I'm jinxing it, but I don't feel that way. I'm saying it out loud. I feel like skydiving is one of those things where you can't really get hurt. Like, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's... I know people think that because you're falling out of a cliff. That's so funny. Yeah. But... What if it, you hit a bird? Wham! At 100 miles an hour. <laughs> I... You're on the bottom. You're the shield, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. You're the shield. If I were you, I'd wear a bulletproof vest. I want to hit a bird. <laughs> sky it's going to die. That's not nice. <laughs> it would be epic. <laughs> you just land with a big ass blood spot on your shirt. <laughs> my god damn, what happened? Oh my god. Did he stab you in the air? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> The shit we come up with. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Now I gotta look it up. Has anybody ever hit a bird skydiving? I'm gonna look it up right now. <laughs> totally. And it's on that, happen. we will end the podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs>